Yeah, thoughts on the game. Obviously, uh, UAB's a good football team. Um, we didn't help them. You know, we did our fair share to give them an opportunity to make plays. Um, you know, saw some good things by us out there. Would have liked to have done a lot better in the second half. You know, I felt like offensively, we, well, pretty obvious we couldn't get any things going in the second half at all. But uh, some things to build off of and things to correct and keep battling. Keep battling. With that said, questions. Uh, Coach, this is Jared McDonald with the Daily News. Um, you know, I know you said in the second half that you couldn't get things going um, really offensively. Uh, what do you think changed? What did they do different? What did you do different that kind of led to that? Uh, you know, you know, we went three and out right on the first series, you know, which doesn't help. Defense does a good job, holds them. We go three and out, you know, we get punt blocked. You know, kind of takes the air out of you, a pump block for a quick score. Uh, I thought the kids still, you know, were trying to compete and all that. Um, you know, just didn't execute. You know, they played played good defense, and we didn't execute. I can't put my finger on one particular thing, you know. Um, thought we did some, some nice things offensively in the first half, you know. Um, connected on a couple balls and, and uh, you know, those kind of things. Obviously, you know, we got to – Keep trying to hand the ball and stick it up in there and try to get more than three yards, you know. But, uh, you know, we'll keep on working hard to get better. Coach, this is uh, Matthew Hargrove with the College Heights Herald. Why the decision to go with Caveras, and how do you think he fared today? Uh, I thought, well, you know, he, I think as a team and as an offense, we needed a, we needed a spark a little bit. And then, you know, Piggy had a – turf toe that was really bothering him um but you know i wanted to see kt you know i wanted to see if he could build off of what he showed in the last couple minutes of the marshall game i did think early in the game that you know he did show that he's he's very capable of of making plays and, and moving the football uh so now what we got to do is is keep building off of that with him and uh you know, we got to help him. I got to help him as a coach, try to get him in the right place. And then he's got to help us when things aren't good, taking care of the football. But, you know, that's a young green quarterback that's playing out there. And uh, it's about what you would expect from a young green quarterback. He had flashes, he did some good things, and he did some things that wasn't very good. But we'll go back to the drawing board, try to fix it, and get better. Okay. McDonald with the Daily News again to kind of go off of that. When was the decision made to go with KT? And, you know, you're a guy that played quarterback. You said you made your first start here at Legion Field. Did you say anything to him um, leading up to the game to kind of get his motivation going or anything like that? Yeah, I, you know, I, I we did a lot of motivation with him. I, you know, he, I felt like he's a guy that's really not affected much by, um, by things. He's just kind of himself, you know, he's not, he didn't look nervous out there. Um, you know, he, again, he's green. So, you know, there's times you're going to watch him out there and say, come on, buddy, step up in that pocket or, you know, those kind of things. But, uh, you know, that's what you get from a, from a guy that hasn't had a lot of experience. But, you know, I felt like he was excited and handled it well. And, you know, he was pretty normal the whole time, even when things weren't going good. You know, he was, he was good. So, you know, we got a lot to – a lot to try to build off of, you know, and, and hopefully we can do that. Coach Jeff Lighty with WBKL. Just to kind of follow up off that, will KT be the starter for the team going forward? Uh, he'll play for now, yeah. Um, you know, I feel like he's, you know, where we're at with um, with Piggy, a little bit of that turf toe, and, and, you know, I felt like KT did some nice things that we want him to try to do, so. You know, it's competition every time. So, you know, not it doesn't mean it lasts forever, but I do want to try to build off of some of the things that he did. So to answer your question for now, yes. Daily knows, you know, when we talked to Coach White earlier this week, he thought two touchdowns and two field goals would be competitive in this game. Um, and it put the defense in, in some tough spots. You know, how much did you feel like the offense and then the special teams play kind of took you guys uh, out of this after a week where Marshall scored 21? Yeah, you, you broke up on me, but the gist is I, I pretty much got your question. But 
Yeah, I mean, it's tough to play defense when the offense keeps going three and out in the second half, and it's it's tough to stay up as a football team when you give a block punt for a touchdown. Now, with that said, I didn't feel like our kids got down or depleted when they had the block punt for the touchdown, but it certainly makes you have to go up a steeper hill, you know, and, uh, you know, defensively, we got to do some, some better things too, but our kids are competing and, um, I, you know, I feel like they're giving us everything they got, you know, so as long as we got that, we're good and we'll keep trying to get better and better. And, uh, you know, we've played the first, we played a tough schedule these first couple games, you know, five games in and, you know, we'll need to come home and, play Chattanooga and, and uh, be ready for a great challenge with them, you know, and uh, got to treat it like it's a huge game for us and because uh, they'll be pumped up and excited to play us and, and get a chance to play a college football game. So we better get, get to the drawing board and get ready to roll. This is Nick Keezer with College Heights Herald. You guys had a 12-play, had a, a 75-yard drive late in the second quarter. So, is that stuff that you want to see more of moving forward? Because that's something that you guys talked about this week. Yeah, I, I definitely. I mean, that's the name of the game. Um, you know, moving the change is, is what we need. We need positive change movement. You know, it's, uh, you know, when we were able to convert on third downs or make explosive plays, that usually the odds go in your favor that you're going to score. So um, I thought we were pretty aggressive uh, in the first half. I mean, I thought we – Tried to go out there and, you know, be as aggressive as we can be. And the second half we tried to just, you know, we weren't connecting or KT wasn't seeing it or we had pressure or, you know, we got behind the chain. So kind of all started to go downhill a little bit. But um, those are the kind of drives you want to have. Yeah, for sure. You know, Josh had his most productive day statistically today. Um, you know, what did you think of him? by design uh, heading into the game? Yeah. Um, he, you know, there was a couple plays that he was going to be a high percentage guy to get it. He's not the only guy to get it. But, um, yeah, I was glad the ball found Josh. And uh, we, we did a couple things to try to get him the ball. It was good to see that production. Um, you know, we'll hopefully be able to build off of that as well. 